Hello, I'm Dominic Giratano. Welcome to Electric TV. Today we bring you the first installment of what will be a three-part series on LED lighting. In some ways, it seems hard to believe that something this small, the light-emitting diode, will soon have such a huge impact on our industry. But make no mistake about it, the solid-state lighting LED revolution is coming. And it's coming with a long-term financial impact that is bigger than anything our industry has ever seen. So big, in fact, that the United States Department of Energy has gotten into the game, issuing projections and providing a clearinghouse of information for those who would rather ride the LED wave than be drowned by it. If you know where to look, you can find reams of useful information concerning the light-emitting diodes and the luminaries in which they're built. Not only are we going to tell you where to look and why, we're going to visit with the head of the DOE's LED initiative. In part one of our series, ETV's Bob Miske sat down with Dr. James Broderick at the Department of Energy headquarters in Washington, D.C. Okay, thank you. I'm joined here by Jim Broderick. Mr. Broderick, thank you for taking a few minutes with us today. Thanks for inviting me, Bob. Why is the DOE so involved in, in LED lighting? What, what's at stake here? The LED products can, can create an awful lot of energy savings, which the department is interested in, definitely. It's part of our mission. The, we did a report recently that forecasted into the future that by 2030 that the LED products would actually reduce lighting consumption by about 46 percent. In the year 2030, what's 46 percent reduction mean? It means about 30 billion dollars that would go back to the consumer. So it's got a lot of upside. How is LED a big step forward from traditional fluorescence? Uh, much of the lighting in the commercial sector is, is done by fluorescence. That's the single largest lump of energy consumption in the United States. And, and this is a big jump because you're going to get much, much more efficiency with LED type products. Also, you get durability, they're somewhat directional in their light, and they're, they are easy to dim and control because it's all low voltage DC. So it's a big paradigm change which people are going to start experiencing right now. Situated somewhere in between traditional fluorescent bulbs and LEDs is the Compact Fluorescent Lamp, or CFL. Dr. Broderick says even amidst the LED revolution, they will still have their place. The LEDs are just a slight bit more efficient. Now, that will change. Um, the LEDs will get much more efficient than the CFLs can get, ever get. Plus, they're more durable, they'll take vibration, they withstand cold, and they're dimmable. But CFLs will be around. They won't go away. They provide good service, and right now the pricing is pretty good. So keep in mind that no one has ever completely displaced a light source. We still use candles. Even for the very few people in the industry who have a handle on LED lighting, there remains an important obstacle, cost. Dr. Broderick says that will be temporary. They are a little pricier now, but if you remember, uh, Bob, when you bought that large screen TV six, seven years ago at $4,000, yeah, that was a lot of money, but now you get the same TV for probably $700. The semiconductor industry has this trend of opening at a pretty high price, but then they come down. And this will be going on with the LEDs also. What needs to be done within the electrical industry to provide more education about LEDs and its potential? At this point in time, education is really important. There's lots of new concepts. The lighting operates different. And so you need to get a hold of information. There are some very good products out there. And then there's some products that are not so good. And we have programs here at DOE that test products, a gateway program, the caliper program, and it gives you the straight information from DOE. We give you the test results so you can make your decisions to buy or not buy or, or buy in a smarter way. And this way we'd like people to be better informed. The caliper program is the DOE's program that provides independent test results, good and bad, from a variety of products within this rapidly moving industry. It's sort of like the department's good housekeeping seal where LEDs are concerned. The Gateway program can be compared to show and tell 
for a classroom full of electrical contractors, lighting designers, and even potential customers. Gateway shows off successful projects installed in the real world of commercial and residential applications. But despite all the facts and figures available, there is still one thing that must be overcome. What about change just on human terms? Some people just are resistant to change. Well, now's a good time. Uh, you're catching it early in the wave or early in the, the curve moving up, and you want to give yourself that advantage. And uh, change is good. I think over the next 20 years, we forecasted $250 billion worth of savings. Mm -hmm. That's quite a driver. Yeah. You don't want to miss the train. Just one last thing, if you were to put a bow around this, you, I mean, from, from where you sit, this, this is a real uh, area of opportunity for a, an aggressive electrical contractor moving forward, would you say? Absolutely. You, you, like I mentioned a little bit earlier, this is a paradigm shift. The last ones occurred in the 1940s and 50s. You, you want to grab that information and learn all you can, and there's going to be lots and lots of changes and opportunities, and you want to be up to date, know what you can, about South State Lighting. Dr. Broder, thank you so much for your time. Thank okay. you, Bob. Let's throw it back to the studio. Thanks, Bob, and thank you, Dr. Broderick. Today, in part one, we gave you the big picture in the LED revolution. Coming soon, in part two of our series, we'll drill down a little deeper when Bob visits with one of our nation's leading LED experts, Dr. John Curran, president of LED Transformations. Dr. Curran will talk about some of the actual LED luminaire products that they do well they don't do well. He'll talk about some myths, a few do's and don'ts, and why, if you're not paying much attention to LEDs, you should. We'll be posting part two in about a month or so. That's it for now. Thanks for the click. Remember, follow us on Twitter, visit us on YouTube, and even sign up for our newsletter above. I'm Dominic Giratano. We'll see you next time.